Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to use Lightroom Brushes presets to take your brush stroke to the next level. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. My name is Serge Ramelli. I'm a French photographer living in Paris, France, still in Los Angeles. And I make not one, but two tutorials per week. Click here if you want to get the free brushes I'm going to give you and all the past presets, raw files, Photoshop action for free. Hundreds and hundreds of free stuff. All you have to do is subscribe to my newsletter or click here if you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel. In last episode, I show you my 10 best tips for shooting Herber Landscape. It's one of my favorite show because I really try to gather my 10 most successful actions over the last 10 years in one episode for Herber Landscape. Check it out. This week, I'm releasing for the first time 45 new Lightroom brushes, presets. This will help you use the brushes in Lightroom and make it in a way that it's really going to take that type of retouching to the next level. Let me show you how. All right, mesdames and messieurs. So as I said, I'm really happy to announce that I have a new package coming out called the Lightroom Brush Preset Package. Um, in all, it is 45 brushes that I did with my friend Jim, and they're really based on upon the, what I've been using for many years. Brushes for me is the one thing that makes Lightroom an exceptional software. And I'm gonna show you uh, how it works. You can see if you go on the page, it's on the, on the home page, you have this banner, you come to this Lightroom brush presets complete pack. And basically, uh, you have some of the before and afters, and you got three packages. You got Dodge and Burn, uh, Landscape, and Lights. And I'm going to show you uh, how this is. And this will really, because this is what I've been, I've been playing so much with preset, and it really helps to bring sometimes your photos to the next level, or at least bring you places you did not expect. Uh, when you buy one of those purchase, you're getting a zip file uh, like this one. Okay, uh, so. All you have to do to install it is double click on the zip file to open the zip file. So I'm on the finder here and I'm just doing that. So now I've got all, I've got preset dodge and burn, dodge and burn two and landscapes. I've got all these three folders. Then you have to jump over to Lightroom and you go to Lightroom preferences. And here on the second tab called preset, you click on show Lightroom preset folder. And it's gonna open the finder and it's gonna show you all the preset places. Now the one you're looking for is here, the local the local adjustment presets. Uh, this is where you wanna just basically drag and drop. Here it is. Actually, that's the right name, I've already done it. Lightroom presets, dodge and burn, landscape and lights. You just drop in the folder in the local adjustment presets. You restart your Lightroom, that's very important. And the, here they are. Now let me show you uh, why this is kind of cool. Because, for example, this is a photo of the Hotel Abbey Paris, a very nice hotel that I love, one of my favorite in Paris. And this is their salon. And I did a bit of retouching already, but I want to take it to the next level. So I'm going to go on brushes. And now I've got a whole bunch of new brushes. Uh, you know, they're cool, for example. So here you have the Dodge and Bird presets. Now, you, then you got the landscape brushes and then the light brushes, okay? So what I want to do here is some dodge and burn. So I'm going to go to um, search uh, dodge and burn DB dodge light and strong, okay? And um, basically what I want to do is just, you know, make it that they're like, you know, enhance the light, which is here, enhance the light coming out here, maybe coming out here and here, something like this. Um, Maybe add some more light here, add some more light here, add some more light here, some here, here, here. And all I'm trying to do, and like if it was coming from the window here and coming from the window, and I can tell you just this little brushes before and after, before and after is really the difference because um, I, I got so many jobs because when I was doing interior design, I was using these brushes and people say, were saying like, I don't know what's, about your photo, but there is something special about it. This way you have the exact formula of what I've been using. Now, if you think it's too strong, you can go to uh, slight and all the brushes will become uh, li uh, lighter. Or you can go to another type 
which is for example the dodge lighten highlight strong and it's going to give a diff different feel but the one i like the most is for the interior design is for example this one dodge lighten strong that's the one i've been using okay let me show you again the before and the after it really just makes the photo pop it just gives more life you know the rule of the game is an, an object it is interesting to the degree that it is partially led so by complexifying the light in your interior design you're just making it more interesting let me show you another example hotel rs paris uh, now on this one let me see if i had any brush active uh, on this one yes i do let me just erase that i can see it already done some work okay uh, same thing here i'm going to take the for example the highlight strong uh or yeah let's go for the uh, highlight strong for example and which is more subtle and i'm just going to enhance this light uh, on enhance this light this light here add a bit uh of more light here for example in light here and uh, for example if i find that this window i want to see what's behind this window i can click new take another brush uh for example um I can go the other way, um, darken, uh, darken strong, okay? And I'm gonna darken just this part here so that we can see what's going on behind them. Or I can say, okay, let's see what is uh, a darkened structure. What, how is it gonna look? Oh, that's too strong. Uh, slight, how is it? It's a bit better, so we see a little bit better. Let me show you the before and after, okay? I can click on new. And take another brush for example i'm going to go for the um uh, ba -ba -bam. yeah this one the, the, the uh, light strong you have to you know t take some time in and try them on your photos but believe me it's going to work okay for example this one uh the pillow for me there are two uh, we can see too much the wrinkle okay so i'm going to click on new and i'm going to take the famous um defocus uh, blah 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 uh this one surge landscape defocus strong it's on yours it's going to be right here so surge landscape defocus strong you will have it and uh and now i can just paint a little bit over the pillow and get the wrinkles to be less visible they are still going to be visible but it will drag less attention because it's going to make them a bit more blurry basically and that's very important you know because wrinkles when you do interior design is not good so in just a few brush you can really change the fitting of a photo let me show you the before and the after you know just bring in life and light and taking out this uh, ugly thing and if you as always when you use your brush like for example i think it's a bit too blurry i can press alt and it becomes an eraser just make sure you are on the brush you've just been using and i can erase the effect that i did uh, if i want to go back here if i go over a brush i can see where i brushed and let's say i don't like what it did on the ceiling I can just reselect this one and uh, make my brush big press alt and just erase what I've been doing just on the ceiling, for example. Now, the good thing is that this brush is also works with a red roll filter. For example, that you can go to red roll filter and click on dodge light and strong. I would advise to click on invert mask. And now if I make a circle, it's going to have all the properties of that strong dodge burn. So you can dodge also with like a radial filter if you want, which is really cool. And then I can just duplicate that radial filter because I really like what it did and, you know, put it somewhere. Maybe, you know, make that going around like this. Boom, boom, boom. And so you can really play around. And if you think you can always come in and just, you know, lower the exposure if you think it's too strong. But, you know, making, uh, making interesting light is really cool. One more example of a room. This is the Hotel Legend in Paris. Same thing. I'm going to take the, um, I'm going to take maybe the uh, burn uh, structure. No, blah, 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 lighten structure. Okay. It's a different light, uh, lighten brush. And I'm going to go back on the brush. And I just want to make this thing pop here. And maybe put a little ray of light on the, on the, you know, on the curtain. It, it might seem not much. But I can tell you from experience, customers go crazy on this. They go, oh my God, what did you do to the photo? You know, it is really a nice light in the photo. Well, it's just using some of these brushes. Okay, one more example. The Manhattan Bridge. This is Brooklyn. I love that photo because it was raining a lot. Actually, if you zoom in, 
Uh, you can see all the rain against the bridge. It was pouring rain. I had an umbrella over me, but and it was a lot of fog, but not enough to me. But there again, I can go to the uh, landscape, uh, landscape plus fog, make a big brush, and I can just put Brooklyn in the fog really quickly. I just put Brooklyn. Maybe I'm going to put some more fog here over here, and and just in one brush stroke, I completely changed the fitting of this photo and made it a lot more interesting because now I'm playing with the light. I tell you guys, brushes is the way to go. Uh, give it a try to some of these brushes. You will get some free with this episode. I'm gonna give you a, a few brushes for free. And so you can try it on your own photo, but uh, you know, I advise you to buy all 45 and really give it a try, spend hours on it because it's gonna take your photos to the next level. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you're gonna check out my brush as presets. Guys, back to me. All right, guys, I hope you like this and that you're gonna check this Lightroom preset brushes. They should really help you to go places you would not expect. I'll see you in another episode. Mesdames et messieurs, au revoir.